Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Today we're going to be attacking probably the biggest problem I've had since I've been starting my new fish room. My garage down there is where my fish room is and there are no means of getting water out of it, so water changes are a complete pain. At the moment, every time I want to change water, I manually collect a bunch of pipes, take them out of the garage door and run them down the driveway and just let it all drain away out into the street, which is not great because it's... It's not good for the environment, it's not good for my bills. So I want to reuse the water. So we're going to today find a way to get from in the garage, get water, run it all the way around the other side of the house into an IBC and collect it there. So in the last few videos where I've been talking about my water chain struggles, it's because what I do is I'm going into in each individual tank, drain them into this water butt here, the water butt has a sump pump which then pumps that out to some pipes that I have to manually connect every time I want to do it, which then pumps it down the driveway. It's fine, it's just not optimal. I want that water, one, not to be wasted by going down the driveway. I want to store it and use it on the garden for the plants. And I want it to let me automate the system so I don't have to go around connecting pipes all the time because what I want to do is drain these tanks on a drip feed system. So drill all the tanks drip water into them, fresh water into each of them, which will overflow into the water butt, which will periodically, when it fills up, pump that out into the container around the back of the house. So stage one of that is connecting this to the back of the house. So I have to drill a hole through this wall here, um, which I've been doing for the last hour and a half, and I can barely move my arms at the moment, but I will get there. So drill a hole through this wall, drill a hole through the back wall, feed in the pipe through the back, persuade one of my children to crawl under the house and drag it through. So I'll get on with the rest of the drilling and we'll catch up in a minute. So through the hole, do you want me to hand that through to you? And then we'll switch between this and Stuart Cam. for Stuart to arrive underneath, start feeding this hose through. Yeah? You all right? We have the pipe through at this end. So thank you very much, Stuart. You earned that bag of Skittles that that cost me. Now all we need to do is get that, this pipe routed down to the sump pump and we'll give it a go. So now the moment of truth, we may do a water change on this tank, drain it into the uh, water butt. The sump pump should automatically kick on, but I don't know if I've turned that on yet or not and then water will fill the IBC in the other end. There's obviously some fiddling to be done because I need to put in check valves and things like that because it's quite a long run. So we'll see how we get on. Really good. 
So there we go, we've got all the components are there, it's not quite the final solution, but we've got the hose coming out of the air brick there, all running under the house from the fish room. Going into the IBC here, I'm going to hard plumb this, so it's just a bit neater, but for now, it lets me do water changes. Um, but we'll need to get some check valves installed and some fettling will need to be done to make sure that everything's running as smoothly as it can do. But yeah, so far, it works well. So if you like this kind of thing, as always, click that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye!